Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I've got another equipment review for you guys. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the double circle squat wedges. I absolutely love these. And in terms of the features, you end up getting two wedges when you purchase these. And it comes with a black diamond plate metal finish. It measures seven inches wide by 13.7 inches deep. And it's gonna be four, four and a half inches tall at the base. And in terms of the inclination, it's gonna have a 20 degree tilt. In terms of the uses, these are gonna be absolutely terrific as a rehabilitational tool. Also, it's gonna be great if you you want to perform exercises such as heel elevated goblet squats or Jefferson curls. If you want to use it as a calf stretcher, you could use it for that. And if you have poor wrist mobility, you could also use it as a tool for push-ups. If you put your palm at the lower end and then, or if you put your fingertips at this end and then your palm at that end. So if you lack wrist extension, then it's going to be great for regressing the push-up pattern so you're, it's a little bit more comfortable. Now we're going to get into the pros and cons, but first real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section. This would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't yet be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content now let's get into the pros and cons the number one pro of these squat wedges is that it's gonna have independent feet with something like a slam board that I reviewed last week if you didn't miss that if you missed that video you can check it out right up over here in the corner but with something like a slam board it's gonna be very very narrow so if you wanted to do something like a sumo squat and you don't have the ankle mobility knee mobility or hip mobility to perform it then these are gonna be great because you're gonna be able to separate them and have one for each foot instead of having having to use two different slam boards. Another one of the pros is that these are gonna be very, very durable. They're made from solid metal, so you can take a hammer, smash the hell out of it, and it's not really gonna make a dent in it. Another one of the pros, great for rehabilitation. For me personally, if I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use it for something like a poliquin step up or a heel elevated dumbbell goblet squat. And it's also gonna be terrific for regressing the squat pattern. So if you can't perform a proper squat because of either poor ankle mobility, knee mobility, or hip mobility, then these are going to be absolutely terrific. And same thing with push-ups. If you can't perform a push-up because you have limited wrist extension, then you could use this to give it, to make it a little bit more comfortable to do some push-ups. Another one of the pros is if you don't have poor squat mobility, but you just want to get a little bit more quad activation, then using these are going to be terrific way to get more quad activation because it's going to enhance the amount of flexion you could get in your knees because it's going to not be limited by your ankle mobility. So the deeper you could get into a squat, the more myofascial tension you're going to create on the quadriceps and by creating a greater amount of myofascial tension you're going to get more recruitment of the quadriceps group so if you do want to enhance quad activation definitely pick up some squat wedges another one of the pros is that they can be used as a calf stretcher if you put your toes at the tall end and your heel at the low end then you're going to be able to get a really great stretch in your calf and one of the final pros is that it takes up minimal space these over here you could just tuck them away in the corner and they're going to be out of sight out of mind it does come with a couple of cons the number one con is that these are going to be a little bit pricey for what they are it's $109.97 and then with HST in Canada where I live it came out to $124.27 so if you did want to save a little bit of money what you can do is get a rocker board instead and I reviewed the rocker board a few weeks ago if you missed it you could check out the link right up over here in the corner but the rocker board it's $39.99 instead and then with HST it came out to $45.19 so it's less than one third of the price if you were to get the rocker board as opposed to these right over here and then one of the final cons is it only has one level of income inclination with regard to the inclination you get a 20 degree incline so something like the 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 slam board that i reviewed for you guys last week that you're going to get five different levels of inclination you'll get 20 25 30 and 35 so if you are looking for something that has a little bit more then i would recommend getting the slam board as opposed to these squat wedges instead and then one of the final cons is that if you are wearing socks, these are going to be very, very slippery. So what you would do is if you are wearing socks, you would put your heel on the metal portion, but your toes, you would keep them right off the edge. That way you don't slip. If you are using just socks though, and your foot is fully on the wedge all the way at the top, if you're wearing slippery socks, you're gonna slide all the way down. So that's something worth noting. In terms of who could benefit from it, if you are a physiotherapist or strength coach, I would definitely recommend picking up a couple of squat wedges. If you have weak knees, these are gonna be great for strengthening the knees, for doing things like poliquin step ups. If you have poor squat biomechanics, then regressing the squat pattern by using these to do something like a heel elevated dumbbell goblet squat would be terrific. And in terms of who won't be able to benefit from it, if you're on a very limited budget, then I wouldn't recommend this, I'd recommend getting something like a rocker board instead. And if you're looking for a very versatile piece of equipment, then I wouldn't really recommend these either because they're not going to be very, very versatile. But overall, I absolutely love it. And the reason that I love it is because of the independent feet. 
I generally use my slam board more often than these right over here, but if I am doing something like a sumo stance squat and the person or the patient or client that I'm working with does not have the proper mobility, then these are gonna be terrific because I could sp separate them a lot further apart. So overall, I absolutely love it for that reason. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. It's going to be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.